What is up, my dudes? I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to my channel. I was gone for a little bit, had some personal stuff that came up, and uh, just some stuff in life. Um, but I'm here, I'm back, and as you can see, I'm back with Final Fantasy XIV. So, don't worry, I will get back to my other games. Uh, but this is a special request by my mom. Um, uh, it's a game that, uh, a sequel to a game that she used to like watching me play when I was younger, Final Fantasy XI. And I actually have uh, some special guests with me uh, this time. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a different recording. It's actually going to be me and um, my three brothers, my sister, and her husband. Um, oh, let's get, there, get that cutscene here um, out of the way. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, so we're going to kind of have like a little session where it's just us and we're just going to play the game. Um, we're all picking different starting classes, and um, some of us, some of us may go all the way to the end game. Some of us may just, uh, you know, do the free trial till 60, um, and then stop. Uh, it just kind of depends on what everyone's preference is, but that's kind of the plan. So it's going to be more casual. I'm just going to kind of talk to my brothers and my sister and my brother-in-law, and we're just going to kind of play and enjoy it. And we're probably going to talk to my mom here and there um, while we're doing it. So just going to let you know it's going to be a little bit different, more relaxed, more. Uh, uh, just kind of just enjoying the time and um, you know we'll uh, uh, just have a fun time and I'll probably put out you know 30 minute 20 30 minute episodes here and there so with that we're just going to get into it um, I'm going to join into the discord with my my family and we're just going to go for it so um, anyways I just want to thank you all for watching and uh, we'll jump right in all right thanks bye loud as you okay. possibly hey, can we're recording no don't do that hold on everyone do the sound check clap there we go travis i got you that was perfect good job with the, the you're soundtrack. welcome uh, well, good, try. good job good job oh i'm in queue all right <laughs> jeremy so i'm gonna be with you in the witch cackle Ulda. oh that guy just got punched <laughs> wait why how are you guys like already seeing fighting people i'm like in the back of the carriage. It's a cutscene. It depends, it depends on where you start, Ashley, and you get in, you get put in certain spots. And oh. it was still a cutscene. It was just funny because some guy oh. got punched. Well, where are you? Where are you? What? So level fifteen, everyone should get a thing to move on. But I'm gonna do a cutscene here. So that is Let's not a name. Up. That is an acronym. That was something else. Hey, hey, you. Oh, there I am, just sleeping. Sleep on the job. You're right, lad. 
You were moaning something fierce for a while there. My. <clears throat> Feeling the effects of the aether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Along. How can that man see? You there, halt! Brass blade captain. Look at his little mustache. Look at his little mustache. What's this all about? <laughs> Inspection, men, search the carriage. Gentlemen. I'm just an honest peddler, friend, so or er, don't be disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Mind your tongue, old man. Just I cut it out. It's so violent. <gasps> he planted that on me. Sir, look, Somnus. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon to the end of your days unless you can afford the fine. No, yeah, business as usual, grizzled passengers, though. Oh, snap, that's an arrow. Ooh, ah! I can't even pronounce it. Almaja? Almaja? To arms, to arms! Run! Oh, those guys, those guys work, work out. Seven Hells, consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. Seven Hells? I, didn't, I thought there was nothing. I didn't even know that. Seven of them. Oh! <laughs> he just got slapped across the area. Dang. Whew. Some violent stuff there. Whew. That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them, Brass Blades. Glad they'll have the shirt off your back if they fancy it, like common bandits they are. Only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we've got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? I see that. Brent's the name, and Pedlin's my trade. Okay. I like my necklace. And judging by your unusual garment, hey, come on, they're not that unusual, I'm just wearing normal stuff. I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. Yeah, you're right. I knew it! Going wherever the wind blows, seeking future and glory. Now what's that's what I call a living. So as long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you it? To, attracted you to it? Uh I'm not gonna answer. Who knows what I wanna do? Sure, see? I'm unsure. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brent's a chatterbox, but he sure's heck ain't nobody's busybody. Right? Whatever that means. We all have secrets for three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather say that I'd rather they stayed secret too, which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. All right there. I just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Yes, it is. By the way, is this your first trip to Ulda? Oh, yes, it is. You, you bet it. It is? Well, then, this journey to Iterant in, in, will tell you the ins and outs of your destination. All right. Ulda is ruled by the Sultana in name, but as most folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. Them and the Monteris cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether, but that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the royalists, and royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, thrown the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no signs of stopping. Because the lizard man, oh, of course the lizard men, that's the Almaja, couldn't care less about Uldan politics. They have their own interests, see, and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers, need breed and profit, and though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, long last. Behold, Ulda, the jewel of Thanalan, where folk turn sand into gold. Oh 
my. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Oops. Here, made a sound. And here's where we part ways, lad. I'm off to the market to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By the way of thanks for putting up with me and putting up with me prattle. Yeah, no problem, old man. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here's an idea. Become the sort of storied person personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square. Right, my man. Goodbye, old man. It was nice knowing ye. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. There we go. No jokes aside, I have heard this storyline is pretty good. So I've heard it's kind of a, a, a chore a little bit for the beginning to get through. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. There it is. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I've heard it gets really good later on. So here we go. Probably going to pop back into my Discord chat here. Just double check, make sure there's nothing else going on. Oh, there's another cutscene here. Let's just double check. Keep running around. It's pretty cool looking in here. I like the, the, the drapes. Those are neat looking. Looking like a boss rolling up here. I did select Gladiator as the starting class. Uh, play a tank. I'm going to be starting in Ulda with my brother who's playing, I think, a Thaumatage. So, that's kind of where we're going to go from here. Everybody's starting kind of all over the place. So, we'll all converge at level 15. Oi, Venturer, over here. Oh, look at that guy. He's cool. I, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by any chance. Eh, how can I tell? Heh. <laughs> I don't know. How can he tell? You can tell me. Name's Wyman, and I'm a and biz and my business is known every bugger else's. Okay. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by the way of welcome to our fair city, free of charge, even just this once? Like, all right. Welcome to Uldah, the shining beacon of prosperity rises from the deserts to Thanalan. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, student mouse and keyboard. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of the camera. Okay. Do, 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 do. Speak to Wyman, okay? Ooh, ooh. Jump. Turn. Move the camera. Oh, hey. I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, let's close this. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get through some of these opening quests here. Once you initiate a quest, prompt will appear, deal telling the objectives and rewards. Click on the accept button in the lower left corner. Okay. So I've played games before. Tis plain to anyone else, to anyone with eyes, that you don't know your way around here. That's true. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. And I don't want that on my conscience. Alright. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the Quicksand Inn and speak with Mam Mamadi. She's the master of the Adventurers Guild and can set you on the right path. Just take the steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with adventure and adventure. All right. Thank you, my man. You have begun a quest. Use your duty list. I'm not going to read all this stuff. Uh, I mean, feel free to pause if you want to read it. Um, but 
Uh, I'm probably gonna hop back in my channel here to talk to my family here. Uh, and oh my goodness. I just come back into people talking here. Upon a tipping of the Alright, uh, oh. Jeremy, I'm I'm here. I watched the cutscene thing, uh, so I'm here. Uh, but I've got to I've got to go do the first thing. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the name above my character, though. Uh, How do you do that? Uh, it's under it's under escape. Heck. Trenton, go to escape configuration. <laughs> character configuration character. Okay. Uh, Bernadette. Sorry, not character. Uh, yeah, character. Then UI settings. Or sorry, display name. <laughs> display name settings. What? In search what? of a fortune. Okay, so okay. Character configuration. Character configuration. Shoot. Uh, uh huh. Character configuration on the left hand side. Then go down to display name settings and turn on oh. display name settings own to never. Then you don't have the name above your head. By the way, the equals. If you guys haven't realized, the equals button is like your sprint, so you can sprint uh, on a cooldown. So. Wait. What the heck? Can you do it all the time while you're in town, though? What's that? Can you do it all the time while you're in like a safe zone? I don't know. I think it's a 60 second thing, so it lasts for like 20. Oh, 20 seconds, but not in combat. So it lasts 20 oh, seconds, is... and then when you get out of combat. Also, if you want to sit in a chair, like cool thing about this, like if you want to sit in a chair, if you just go up to a chair, and do like enter and then back for four, what is it? Backslash sit forward slash sit you'll just sit in the chair automatically it's pretty cool oh no oh, also um, also if you don't like the way your guy holds a sword or weapon if you do uh change pose it makes the way you hold the weapon or the way you sit or the way your idle position is look different if you don't like the way your character stands by default Interesting. how do you change Brother. the key bindings for some skills like the sprint. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. She's very excited. Name's Mamodi, and I own this fine establishment, if it pleases you. Okay. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Uldah. And you might say that looking after green adventures like you is my vocation. And... Lucky for you, that is, without someone like me to steer you right, you soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalja, Amal, Amalja, for example, they've been plaguing the sult Sultanate for, for, for nigh on U forever now. Ugh, the way these people talk confuses me. Guess then there's the Garlean Empire. No one can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. I people think people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry, worry, and a lingering feel of loss. Well, that sounds terrible. And like wonder, it's scarce been five years since a lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. Okay. Apparently there's seven, but now there's eight hells. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. Twas like the end of the world had come at last. And that's actually kind of a reference to the way that the end of Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy 14 originally ended because it was all jank and they had to relaunch it. Um, but then things began to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next. Some of them, two or three, you'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is they don't. Nobody does. There is one thing the survivors agree on, though: the part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, like so many others, and they returned deeds worth remembering. I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are jumbled as the calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and a midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody and infuriating. All right. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not be forgotten, and so we'll call them warriors of light. All right. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All, all I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to lead Ulda in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. I'm a noble soul. All right, then I promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And happy and prosperous Ulda means more business for the quicksand, too. Anyhow, any road, let's make us official. 
Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all these all the time. It's quite a lot of reading. Pythonus Vodabe. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue. It does. All right, Master Vodabe. On half of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witnesses. I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. Oh, that guy's beating that other guy up. Look at that guy. Look at that little man with that mustache. Look at him. That guy freaking... Look at that. Oh, man, this guy is cool. That, that, oh, that's so cool. I'll bring you your money. In the East, it's said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two, attend to this scum. Oh, some scum here. We got... I was just walking by. Well, ain't that a sorry sight? Not for an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Well, I don't intend to. Just the same. If you ever need a bit of advice, just one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you're st you stub your bloody toe, all right? Of course, I do enjoy hearing all the tale of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. <laughs> okay. Any road. Welcome to Uldaw, Tythonus. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Okay. Coming to Ulda complete. There we go. Hey, how about that? This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first steps of adventure in the city of Ulda. Listen to the wisdom of Mwadi Mwadi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Hey, what level is that? Level 2. Look at me. Main scenario quest. Uh, important quest. You can tell the story of Ezra. Soria as Eorzea and her people are called main stand at least that thing so Okay, so that's like main quest then. And these are like series of tiny duties or features. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this is probably a good spot to stop this first episode here. So we're about twenty minutes in ish. So we'll stop here. Um and pick up in the next episode. We'll probably continue on playing through this whole thing and see how far we can get before the end. Um but I want to thank everyone so much for watching, and thank you, Mom, for watching. And hopefully a little bit later we won't have as much <clears throat> just story telling and talking, uh, you know. But uh, as I said before, it'll be me and Jeremy in this this Ulda area, and we'll prob hopefully we can quest do some quest together. Um, but I, at least I've, as far as I know, it's like about level 15. You have like kind of your own quest all the way to the end, and then after that, you all converge on the same spot and go from there. So after that, it'll kind of open up, and we'll be all be kind of doing things together. So, anyways, want to thank everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.